All right, Shalom Amakim. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praises, honor, and the glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Wa Haraka Kodash, and of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well at Great Millstone. Salutations to all you sincere Akim that are preaching this word in all truth and sincerity. So this is Hebrews, all right, 2, and I'm going to start at the top, and it reads, Therefore, we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we shall let them slip. So yeah, we, you know, when we do these uh, videos, okay, as the scriptures say, you know, iron sharpeneth iron. So when we do these videos, it's, it's, you know, to build each other up. All right, to build each other up. And also at the same time, you know, we're building ourselves up, you know, through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and his word. Okay. And we ought to, you know, take heed, you know, examining ourselves you know, because we live in a wicked world and, you know, we're applying ourselves to these scriptures, you know, we're doing what we need to do, all right, fighting for our, you know, our salvation and, you know, we, we're subject, we're subject to things that go on in the world. Now, the way we avoid these things, you know, the world, is by, of course, taking heed to what we've heard, all right, through the through the voice of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, the scriptures say, blessed is he that readeth. So, as we're doing these lessons, as we're teaching on the highways and byways, Okay, these words are being said, all right, and we need to take heed ourselves. You know, we're building ourselves up, as I mentioned, iron sharpeneth iron. So a man, you know, as it says, uh, you know, lifteth or sharpeneth the countenance of his friend, okay? says, at least, least at any time we shall let them slip, you know, every day, you know, we're obligated, bro, to, you know, to reverence Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and speak this word, you know, doing these lessons, all right, teaching, okay, for if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward. How shall we escape? Right. You know, because this word, all right, the words, the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai are still in effect. Okay. And, you know, the judgments for offending Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are still in effect. You know, but because of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's mercy, okay, we're able, able to escape without Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, these, these, we would, we would receive, okay, rewards, recompenses for, you know, transgressing, for being disobedient. And we're to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, even though, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai knows us. Okay, he knows our condition. But now that we are, you know, approaching the end, okay, it's very important that we take heed more and more that we, you know, 
and do the work of Yahweh Bashim Shai in truth and sincerity, man. Okay. It says, how shall we how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? You see? We can't neglect, okay, this 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 word, man, this truth that is within us, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, how shall we escape if we neglect Yahweh Shai? Because Yahweh Shai, his name means he saves, he delivers. He is our salvation. Okay, we, we, we can't escape, all right, if we neglect Yahweh Shai, if we neglect this truth. Okay, because Yahweh Shai, he is the truth, the life, he's the way. Okay. It says, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. Okay, what does it say in John? We'll get that and we'll bounce back. And it reads, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with the power, and the Word was power. Okay, so that, that, that's speaking of Yahweh Shai. All right. It says, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. You see, the, the, the elect, the angels, the prophets. And in understanding this word makes us join heirs, makes us those men. Okay, because the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. We heard the word through our brethren, and he woke us up to preach the word. But wisdom will not dwell in a malicious soul. Okay, this word is for the elect. No man can learn that song but the 140 and 4,000. Okay, we're blessed to receive and understand this, this knowledge. You know, this calling. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai also bearing them witness, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost, according to his own will. And these signs, wonders, miracles, and gifts of the Holy Ghost, we understand that through a receiving and, and preaching. We see brothers wake up, snap out of the madness that they were in, us ourselves. Okay, we were in darkness, man, after lusts, sins, offending the Lord. Now we understand, okay, it was a miracle to be wa to be woken and, and see the light, to receive that light. Okay, so it's very important that we you know, neglect not. Okay, that salvation that we receive, man. Remembering the Lord. Prophesying this word. Teaching others. As the scriptures say, you know, that if you teach this word, okay, to somebody that they can receive it, you know, that um, we, we save a soul from death and hide a multi, mul multitude of sins. Okay? That we are doing the work, all right, in hopes of salvation. If we do this unto the end, we endure. All right, as it says right here, it's Matthew 24. Yeah. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Okay? If we endure unto the end, teaching this word, not neglecting that, that gift, our salvation, turning our hand, okay, turning back on the plow, I should say, Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to give us mercy, man. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. 
for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. You see, we must preach this word unto the end. Okay. No matter what we're going through. All right. Preaching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Preaching salvation. Preaching hope unto the prisoners, the captives, which we are. Okay. You know, we're, we're captives, man. All right. And we, you know, we'll be saved through the foolish, foolishness of preaching. Okay. But the point is, you know, to remember not to neglect Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai said, look, if you love me, feed my lambs. Feed my sheep, meaning prophesy, preach this word. And it also says, kiss the son, lest he be angry. The way we kiss the son, okay, is the way a mafia member, you know, embraces his, his Lord, his, his Godfather. You know, they come up, they give the kiss on the, on the, on the cheek, you know, kiss his ring. Well, that's how we, we reverence, we kiss, you know, our boss. Yahweh Shai is by preaching him, glorifying him. So remember that to glorify Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he is our salvation. We can't neglect him. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Waha Rekakwadash. And of course, as always, double honors to our apostles and our elders that rule well. A great millstone. Till next time, I say Shalom.